Hey. Kodak Black. You out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly. Expeditiously. Nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else gonna say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga. And if I see you, I'ma say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. My nigga. That's the impact. Lord, none of that baby, though. She's gonna be out here single. She's gonna be a whole widow out here. I'd be the best man I could be, fuck. She's gonna start doing impact on the young. I'd give her a whole year. She might need a whole year to be. Crying and shit, yeah, too for too Grand Rising, everybody. This is Goddess Kendra. I do apologize that I haven't made an actual video and uploaded it in a while. I haven't been feeling good. But apparently Kodak Black is in his feelings about T.I. calling him out about talking about Nipsey Hussle's wife, Lauren London. So Kodak Black stated the following. He says, ain't nobody going to want tiny ooglies when T.I. dies. He's acting like he all positive and shit. But that same nigga that gave y'all trap music, now he acting like he Martin Luther King. What T.I. need to do is worry about his family and his oogly, oogless wife who cheated on him with Floyd Mayweather. He got me fucked up. Now, he can't even spell ugly right. He spelled ugly U-G-L-A-S-S. -S. Now, the second post I found, it says, look... I'm not Lil Flip. Ain't, ain't nobody scared of T.I. He ain't gonna in, end my career. I got some advice for you, T.I. Sit your old ass down. You 45 years old, worried about what I'm doing. I suggest you watch your mouth before your daughter, Deja, gets piped down. Keep it up and I might just nut in her. Are you ready to be a granddaddy? She finer than a ba, too, so I won't take long. B I H E spell bitch. Now my thing is you can have beef with me. You can call me names. We can argue and fight, hit each other, talk shit about each other on social media. But family is off fucking limits. I don't give a fuck how mad you are about me. You don't talk about my family because and then to me, that's war. And at the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me. Um. That's just disrespectful, and basically, I didn't agree with um, what he inboxed Lauren London or whatever. Her husband just died. It was like I took it as, I'll be here for you and give you dick too. Like, that's disrespectful as heck. Everybody mourns differently, and to say that's disrespectful. So people want to sit here and be outraged about what um, Kodak Black stated to uh, Lauren London and Nipsey Hussle's wife. Okay, yeah, that was disrespectful. And people are talking about wanting to get him taken off the radio and stop his bag. Like, Kodak Black is retarded. I seen the funniest meme on Facebook. It's like, Kodak Black makes music for retarded ass niggas. Now, I'm not making fun of people with special needs, but the boy seems kind of slow. Like, um, what is that guy's name? Something 100, Bozik 100. I'm saying the man's name right, wrong. But <clears throat> you can't be sitting disrespecting people, but people want to sit here and say they want to stop Kodak Black's bag or whatever. But Cardi, rapist as B, wants to sit here and tell y'all guys on live that she drugged and raped men. She robbed them. If a man cheats on her, she will drug him, rape him, and then basically have a woman with a penis rape him. And But y'all still listen to this bitch. How is it a double standard? And you got to figure, too, Cardi B's retarded ass probably drug somebody and they died because you can have a terrible reaction to, like, a date rape drug and vomit in your sleep and choke and never wake up. So... Kodak Black needs to shut the fuck up. I honestly think he owes um, Lauren London, Deja, and T.I. an apology for what he said about his wife and his daughter.